When you live in a place such as Kakuma, uh, it's a town, it's a functioning town. And everybody should live here knowing that they have a home because they are being welcome here. Hope is everything and, uh, and patience. And I think that's the one thing that uh, all the refugees really um, earn. I don't doubt that they, they are hopeless. I don't think so. I think they are very hopeful people. And if the opportunity comes for them to go build new lives, then it's just going to be, a, it's going to be another it's going to be another chapter for each one of them. Every year on the 20th of June, the global community, including governments, UN agencies and refugees, commemorate World Refugee Day. In Kenya, the 2015 World Refugee Day was held in Kakuma to celebrate the courage, strength and determination of women, men and children who are forced to flee their homeland because of war and threats of persecution. Often people have a feeling that refugees are different from, uh, from them. They don't understand and realize that refugees can be anybody, that anybody, any one of us can find himself or herself in a situation of exile, in a situation of refuge. There were various activities organized that brought together the host Turkana and the refugee communities in unique celebrations. One such was a presentation of a 15 square kilometer piece of land to UNHCR for a new campsite donated by the host community at Kalobeye. What this community is looking for is friendship with the refugees. And that friendship means a program that is focused on both them and the visitors. The new land that is given has to be used for the benefit of the host community and of the refugees. What we have to try and do is not to have the host community live like refugees, but we have to make sure that refugees and host communities live freely together and can contribute together to the economy. The refugees and the host community lined up a number of activities under the theme Get to Know Refugees, People Like You and Me. Through art, there can be healing. Uh, and, and this is what has resulted in us collaborating with a number of artists. To give a number of refugees who have a fantastic talent an opportunity to express this, uh, this talent, it's also an opportunity for them to go out and explain what the plight of refugees is to uh, the, the general public. Some of them aspire to make art and take it to the next level as a form of earning their living. They start looking at it as a serious job. And for me, I mean, that is the most important thing that uh, they get to enjoy the benefits I enjoy as an artist. At the World Commemoration for Refugees Day, the musician Octo Pizzo facilitated trainings on music and the art of dancing. Every time I come here, I come with a plus two. And a plus two means I come with a coach of football because I can't do everything. I just deal with music. It's bigger than just rapping and singing. We want it to be to have longevity, an annual, where we have an annual festival and they gather here once in a year and everybody showcase what they have. Kakuma Camp is a home to 15 nationalities with diversity of cultures. At the World Refugee Day, they get to show elaborate exhibits of cultural cuisine, dresses, artistry, and other skills. The United States has played a leading role in responding to the needs of refugees, including efforts to help refugees return home when conditions allow them to do so in safety and dignity. As the world faces the dramatic increase in refugees in recent years, there is a role for everybody. There's a role for all of us. There's a role for governments, for implementing partners, for UN agencies, for businesses, for civil society. 
there are opportunities for us to work together to keep borders open in emergencies, to ensure that humanitarian supplies get through, to provide critical services, to make resources available. We must all do our part, and today we should all recommit to the importance of protecting, helping the refugees of this world. We wish to thank the government of Kenya and Turkana community for the continued generosity, support, and tolerance towards the refugee for over two decades. <laughs> The rights of refugees are enshrined in our constitution and as a nation we remain committed to our international obligation of refugees. We must treat refugees as human beings who deserve protection, respect and dignity. I want to thank the host community of Kalobeye and Kakuma for unconditionally accepting to accommodate the refugees and undertake to support them to integrate into a new environment away from home. The hospitality and warmth of our people continues to be the sustaining factor for the peaceful coexistence. The highlight of the event was the announcement by UNHCR Kenya representative Rauf Mazu of Gerdwani as a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador. He will now become somebody who will, somebody who will continue to do what he has very much been doing so far, which is to advocate for, for refugees all around the world, to show refugees that there is hope and that regardless of the circumstance in which you find yourself, Better can come. So today I'd like to thank the UNHCR for appointing me to be a goodwill ambassador. I don't take this work very lightly. I'd like to say thank you to my mom who gave me life to be here today. I know the journey has been very long and it's still going to be long. But this is a new chapter for all of us who live in Africa, all the community that ran from their own homes to be here, that made Kakuma Kem a very special place. And I'd like to thank the government of Kenya for opening their door to all the refugees, including my own family right here, and the host community, thank you. My journey with this organization goes way back since I was a small boy. So my role is going to be very simple, advocating for refugees because I understand their pain. Uh, their pain was my pain. <laughs> Thank you.